Hey guys, it's Mrs. Egan. I'm going to be reading you another story today. Um, this one is going to be a fiction story, but it still has a little bit to do with dinosaurs. And while we're going through this story today, I want you to be thinking about the characters, setting, and major events in the story. So remember, the characters are who the story is about. Okay, so be thinking about who the story is all about. And then the setting is when and where the story takes place. So where is it happening? What's it like there? And what time of day is it happening? It could be morning, evening, afternoon. And then when we retell a story, remember that we want to remember the main things that happen at the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story to help us retell the important things that happened. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this one. This is a Pete the Cat book. And this one's Pete the Cat, Cave Cat Pete by James Dean. Love Pete the Cat. I'll be thinking of all those things as we're listening to this today. Cave Cat Pete wakes up early. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. Today is going to be a great day, Pete thinks. But then, Pete's bed starts to shake. His friend Vinny, the Velociraptor, is coming to visit. It's a perfect day for a picnic, says Vinny. What a great idea, says Pete. Who should we invite? Everyone, Vinny yells. Right on, says Pete. Pete loves picnics. He heads out to invite all his friends. So we already see a couple of characters there. And I bet you can kind of figure out the setting, too. First, Pete finds his good friend, Ethel the Apatosaurus. To get her attention, Pete climbs all the way up to the top of the tallest tree. Would you like to come to a picnic, Pete asks. I'd love to, says Ethel. What can I bring? How about a really big salad, Pete suggests. What a great idea, says Ethel. I'm on it. We read in the other story this week, um, these dinosaurs eat plants, so a salad would be a good one for them to bring. Pete wanders along the river. He sees T-Rex. T-Rex plays guitar. T-Rex is awesome. Hey, T-Rex, Pete yells. Want to come to a picnic? Sweet, says T-Rex. Can I bring my guitar? Definitely, says Pete. Can We can jam. Count me in, says T-Rex. Okay, if I bring Al the Allosaurus, he's a whiz on the drums. The more the merrier, says Pete. So T-Rex and Allosaurus are going to come play some music. Pete sees his friend Terry the Pterosaur in the sky. Hi, Pete, she calls. Pete invites Terry to the picnic, too. Would you mind giving me a lift, Pete asks. Sure, says Terry. Climb aboard. Pete sees the spike tail of his main man, Skip the Stegosaurus. How are you feeling today, Skip, Pete asks. Skip has been sick with the sniffles. Better, says Skip. Thanks for asking. You up for a picnic? I think so, Skip says. I'd hate to miss the fun. It's almost time for the picnic. Cave Cat Pete rushes through the forest. He doesn't want to be late. Whoops. Pete trips over or Trini the Triceratops. We're playing hide and seek, she says, before Pete can ask what she was doing. I think I hit a little too well. How long have you been there? asked Pete. Well, what's today? asked Trini. Well, all the dinosaurs are going to be at the picnic grounds. Want to come? What a great idea. Maybe somebody there will play hide and seek with me. We've been hiding for a long time. It's time for the picnic. Vinny and Ethel are setting up the picnic tables. T-Rex and Al are warming up to play some tunes. Terry and Trini are playing hide and seek, and even Skip seems to be enjoying himself. Doesn't get any better than this, Pete says. With all the dinosaur friends hanging out together. T Rex comes over then. Hey, Pete, he asked, is there anything else to eat? I'm a carnivore. I don't eat salad. Trini comes over. Terry is cheating at hide and seek. She's flying around and peeking. Skip comes over. I don't feel so good, he says, and he sneezes. The dinosaurs all start to argue. The picnic will be ruined if Pete doesn't do something. He leans over to Al and says, can you give me a beat? Pete takes out his guitar and he starts to sing. So out, the dinosaurs are starting to argue with one another. And Pete's trying to solve the problem. Before long, everyone is having a great time. You know, T-Rex says, uh, says, uh, says Ethel, I've never actually tried salad before. Try it, says Pete. I bet you'll like it. 
T-Rex tastes the salad. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yum, says T-Rex. This salad is delicious. Everyone grabs a plate and digs in. He tried something new and he liked it. Everyone decides to play hide and seek. Pete is happy that everyone's getting along. He feels lucky to have such great friends. You find those hidden dinosaurs in there. This was the best picnic ever, everyone agrees. It was the best picnic because you guys are the best friends ever, Pete says. And no one can argue with that. Okay. So let's think about this story. I want you to think about who the characters were in that story. There were a lot of them. So that would be a good one to kind of talk through. In this setting, where is this story taking place? When and where? Okay. And then the important things that happen at the beginning, what are they trying to do at the beginning? Pete's trying to get everyone to do something. And in the middle, something starts happening. And then what do they do at the end to solve that problem? Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. We'll see you next time.